I don't know what that roster thing is, the second thing. I assume Margaret's taking care of it. Josh Cable's going to be. Our, our, our Glen Forest Cemetery is going to be in the movie, so that's exciting. Um, Scott, Scott Piper, I don't know. And a couple items that are going blah, 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 to be blah, part blah. of the executive session. And then um, May, the one I put in bold, <laughs> um, it's the Green County Township Association meeting. And as you guys remember, um, for each meeting, while well, all the townships get together once a month for dinner, um, a different <coughs> township or a, a group of them sponsors it, right? Last year, we contributed in a month, and we actually didn't show on our month. Uh, yeah. Two years ago, we hosted. Two years ago, we hosted. We're always paired with Cedarville and Xenia. We hosted, and we, everything worked out well. Um, I think um, Xenia found us a spot. I think we, we paid them a check, but we didn't show up, and that's cool. I didn't tell you guys because I didn't want you to have to worry about it. Um, and then this year, um, it, we're, our, our, our week is, our month is May, which is a couple weeks away. And there has to be some, you know, they have to put out the word. Xenia says, sent an email today that said, um, we've done it, we put, we've done our stuff last year, um, we hope that Bath and um, Cedarville and Wait, is it this says Xenia and Cedarville. Oh yeah, we're with Cedarville here. Xenia doesn't want to, does it, thinks they've done enough work and they, they hopes that, that um, Cedarville and... Um, um, I'm happy to talk get, with trustees in Cedarville and, and get, it to get, get on together. that, and, um, that is in just a couple yeah. days short so of a month from see now. See what they're thinking about um, place. Okay. And, um, okay. That's cool. I'd love it if you would take that on. And the rest, I don't see anything else. Oh, the, the, we'll talk about the insurance plan before we leave. I don't know if that has, is it actually, that has to be an agenda item? Uh, we'll put it on in, in business. Um, I have one additional piece of correspondence. Yes. That'd be interesting to the group. <clears throat> I'm going to read this because it's a voicemail transcript says, hello, Chris, my name is Lawrence Reed. I'm Garfield something, Network Services. I was calling to question uh, regarding listing the Union Cemetery. Um, we have an experiment, we're going to be putting them together where we need to put temporary cell tower equipment at different locations. It looks like you may have some cemetery for the um, parking of a large trailer that has an antenna on it and we put a tennis stuff on it and have to listen to the Yes, the, the back right corner there. I was wondering if you'd be interested in something like that. We obviously put a lease to the project. That's for the So this is Clifton? Clifton. Okay. Uh, well, I can take that and share it with I have a number to Tom Waddle and if you guys get interested. If you guys are interested, I have a number I'll share with you. Yep. Uh, I'll be talking about the cemetery in our reports. I think. Other follow-ups from correspondence? No, yes, sir. So we have two citizens, Fred Stock Stockwell and Joe Giardulo. Uh, and Joe has sent us an application uh, to serve as a Board of Zoning Appeals alternate. Do you want to say anything, Joe? Um, sure. I've been in the township for 13 years. I raised my family uh, in the village and served on the for 12 years and served in the village at Yellow Springs on the BZA. I'm a retired faculty member from Sinclair. Um, we have a small seven-acre farm. Um, I maintain that through CAUV program. Um, I'm involved with Central State in some pretty cutting-edge uh, honeybee research, uh, which is pretty exciting. I work with the researcher there. Um, I maintain that property, and so it's able to produce 2,400 more than that 
per year and maintain that in CAUB to that. I'm in a good part of my life. Um, I'm in a really good part of my life. <laughs> what road are you on? Sorry? On Houston Road. Um, so I'm in a good part of my life. You know, I'm able to give back a little something civically. And um, I think it bring a unique perspective, particularly living on a small farm and what that takes to, to maintain that, um, as well as living in the village. So I come with those two different perspectives. So, um, if I can be of service for the BCA, I have that time. I'm willing to, to volunteer and do that. And what are you doing Wednesday night? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the whole package to me. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go whenever. I, um, the nice thing about this part of my life, I don't have those constraints of time, which is really nice. I mean, I'm able to, to do what I want to do when I want to do it. And um, I mean, I'm, I worked for that. We worked hard for that in our lives. It wasn't given to us. We worked hard for it. And now that I have it, I think I should give a little bit back to the community. So if I can be of service in the township, I would like to be able to do that. What was your general overall assessment of your time at the Village BZA? Uh, that, that it, would, it, was, it would fluctuate in time. And so um, there were, I would think it, would, it was maybe two to three, maybe five hours a month that we would have um, a meeting. You know, there'd be times, you know, it was the secretary, we had to keep minutes. I mean, we kept paper minutes. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and I'd have to keep up on things and would read things and stay involved and follow what was going on. So I, um, I enjoyed that. But again, I, I think that just having civic involvement is an important responsibility for all of us, obviously. And uh, so, so I, I enjoyed that time at the village. But then I moved to the township and gave that yeah. up. Cool. Was it your working experience that you generally favored you know, the letter of the law or I would, the particular I would, circumstance? Well, professionally, I would have trained health care workers. So that was a different world. Um, I think that we need to be flexible. I think every situation is unique and should be looked at from, from all different perspectives rather than following something specific. Particularly during these times, I would be a firm believer in that we should consider saving the, the farmer rather than we, I hear the talk of saving farmland and I think we should also consider saving the farmer. And if we can save the farmer, we can save our farmland. So um, we live here because I enjoy Green County, but Miami Township and the, the rural areas, I mean, we enjoy that. I enjoy that. And, and so, uh, following the, the law, of course, but then I would want to hear what another, what someone else's perspective is, and if they're wanting to to try to change that, I, I think we should listen to that and be open to that. And so, does that answer your, I think we have to have yeah. some flexibility. Sure. Yeah. My experience is sometimes BZAs hear multiple requests over for a certain amount of time for basically the same thing. And you know, sometimes you get started with, well, that, that, you know, that's questionable, but it sounds like a good idea, and so let's grant it this time. Next time the application comes in, well, there was a precedent set the last time, you know, a similar circumstance, so I think we're entitled to it. Okay. It, 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 and again and again and again. And as a result of those multiple applications, a lot of times that law gets kind of sent back to the Zoning Commission where the BA said, BZA then at that point is saying, well, we're hearing the same thing over and over. You know, maybe you should consider changing the zoning regulations to allow such and such which may not have been the original intent, but it ended up getting there. I, I would have had that experience in the village of Yellow Springs, but mm -hmm. also with requests that came forward, I thought we were pretty good in terms of maybe reshaping that also and sending that back to that person, and they would reshape that and mm -hmm. then come forward. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I just, 
I think if you serve on that type of committee, you need to, we need to be open. But I think the key word I'm hearing from you is we have to be consistent also. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, you have to think of the long term yes. uh, effects of what you're doing. And, uh, uh, you know, the, those sorts of BZA hearings are so focused on the, the action, you know, on the table at the time. It's just good to take that 30,000 foot view sometimes too. I'm a, a, I'm a pretty neutral person. I want to hear what everyone has to say. And then following whatever the rules are, let's see where we go from there. Mm -hmm. But I think what I'm hearing you saying is important. It's consistency. We have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all the questions I have for you. I don't have any others. Do we want to make a decision tonight? I would move to uh, appoint Joe. Uh, are we at an alternate right this minute, or are we? I, I, we don't know. Um, that's one. Of, we don't know where one of our. I, I've been following up, and we don't yet know yet. Yeah. But, um, so well, let's we, go. With we the have alternate. to assume alternate. Yeah. We'll have to assume so. alternate, but unless we get in contact with someone by Wednesday. How much period of time, what would be the period of time you would notify me that was needed at, uh, at something? What period of time, um, as, as an alternative, when would that? As an alternate, you should be at every meet, at every BZA hearing ah, okay. to, to come up to, to speed with, that. with what's going on. It's in like case you're it gets the juror, you're there, but you don't vote I until it. you're needed. Okay, right, that's pretty right. much the same. Good. Example. That's good. It, it may be that you'll be needed Wednesday. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. But well, uh, either way, we so have there's he hasn't a, been appointed yet. Of course. Somebody so made a motion. I'll there. second. So there's a, a meeting on Wednesday, and someone <coughs> has communicated to me to tell me when those BZA meetings are. Oh, that's another important thing. They're just as needed. Yeah, right. Okay. And um, sometimes it's slow. The last couple of months, we've had, I, I can't remember if we've had one or two. The last couple of months. So, so someone notifies years me. when it's been one or two. Someone okay. notifies me when. Oh yes, needed. that they'll notify you and they'll send you a packet and okay. send you the applicant the applicant's I, I material. That, that, that yeah. Well, it's been moved and seconded. Any other? I don't. Any other comments? We call the roll. It's been moved and seconded to appoint uh, Mr. Joe Jardula. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I go by Joseph. Joseph? Oh, okay. Joe. It's my fault. I, I said it. Said it. My mom called me that, but I would go by Joseph. I will, I will correct that. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Applicant, uh, as an alternate to the Board of Zoning Appeals, um, Mr. Moocher. Yes. Ms. Moore. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank, you. Thank you, Joseph. I'll, I'll do my best to, to serve the town chair. Thank you so much. So Appreciate your Well, you're yeah, no longer needed. I can, I'm going to feed my bees. Okay, thank you. Right. I think one coming. of them may have come in my window last night. <laughs> don't swat at them. Whatever you do, Don, be, be good and be kind. <laughs> har, har, har. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Any other agenda items from the public? I could mention something, but I did before, and this meeting is not on your calendar. I know you're here. It is, though. Well, I, I looked this morning, and the meetings that I could find on the calendar, on the website on the calendar, were only for the Zoning Commission tomorrow night. I'm looking at it, sir. It says Miami Township. So at some point, I'll need a tutor, I think to help me understand. But and then it also says, next meeting, Monday, April 15th. Well, I'm here. Let's, I'm let's maybe, I, yeah. maybe just have another set of eyes with people who are totally naive looking at it and say, I don't understand, or I used to. No, I just looked at their calendar at one point. I knew you had a meeting today, but yeah. I looked at their so a, a button you can push for a calendar, so for meetings, and uh, I didn't see it on there, I'm sorry. The second thing to mention, just yeah. as a curiosity for me, is there are now two sets of minutes for the Zoning Commission available through your website. 
uh, but there's no there's no draft for March. But the January and February minutes are on your website, and I can see them. Thank you. And they don't give us drafts. Well, for a while, there was no there were no minutes. The last time I was up here at this meeting, April the first, there were no minutes available in this year on the website. They may be available in other ways that I have not learned about yet. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm just said before, I appreciate your dogging us. It's not intended to be derogatory. I know, I know. I take it as suggestions. Helps. Helpful feedback. I'd like to move on to fire department report. Okay. Uh, so in the last previous, in the, in the previous two weeks, uh, 24 EMS calls, 11 fire. We requested mutual aid for one fire call. Um, no EMS calls, and we received one fire call uh, from mutual aid and no EMS ones. What was the nature of the fire call? Uh, there was an alleged structure fire um, that ended up not being anything at all. So, so that's called the Calvary on it per our mutual aid plans and, and it fortunately ended up not being anything. Good. So, yeah. Uh, brush 81 repairs. Um, so I, I mentioned <coughs> I finally got the, the uh, estimates. Um, there were two of those. The one that I'm asking for approval on is $9,496. The other one was just shy of $12,000. Uh, the difference between the two is the pump manufacturer. Um, and one of them was the, the $12,000 one was uh, Darley. Uh, the other one that's the 9400 is a company called C2C, which is a pump manufacturer out of Canada, um, and did a little research on that, and I'm satisfied with the quality of their pumps. Um, that work will have to be done at Atlantic Springboro shop, um, so we'll just, have, we'll just drive it down to Springboro and pick it up when it's ready. And, and that's the pump we had for troubles out of sight earlier this year. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, yep. Um, and so when it's out getting fixed, we got... Um, well, it doesn't matter. We don't have it. It's not in service now. Oh. You know, yeah, that, that pump is very, very dead. <laughs> or the, uh, rather, the engine is. But um, So I need a motion to for approval on that. So moved. Second. Any other discussion? Um, no. Call the roll, please. Moved and seconded to approve repair of brush 81 and renown $9,496. Mr. Mercer? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Motion approved. Uh, thanks for that. I will um, let you know once it is ready to go down and it'll take a period of time to get the, the parts uh, in, in, uh, in the repair shop. Uh, engine 82, I'm still waiting for that to come back. They are trying their darndest right now uh, to track down. We've, we've always had a fuel gauge issue with that that's very intermittent, um, which obviously makes it more challenging to, to track down. The thing that stinks about fuel gauge is it will tell you pretty much almost the exact opposite of what is actually in the tank, uh, which is... Well, if it's consistent, there you go. <laughs> well, no, the problem is it's, it, it's consistently Wrong. It's inconsistent and then can be consistent that way, if that makes any sense at all. So really what it comes down to is that we run it out every day and fill it up just, just to make sure. Um, so that's the delay on that. And hopefully they can get that figured out. But I, I know Tom's been trying to, Tom's, Tom, or one of our repair guys, has been racking his brain trying to figure that out. And uh, I just... I told him, I said, I'll take him out for a beer so that he can figure it out. Um, Eclipse. Any, any uh, of the testy gauges get repaired? Uh, a couple. Um, and then we had two additional ones. But when he was here last week, he spent the bulk of the time working on uh, Tanker 82. Um, we didn't want to mess with Engine 81 since it's 
the only one we've got right now. Um, so he, he made good progress on the tanker stuff. So basically at this point, the list that he's gone through has been, I mean, he's making pretty good progress. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, you know, we, we threw the brush truck at him right when he got started with doing our maintenance. So, so that's the brush truck that was downtown that morning? Is that, that's one oh, no, that was engine 82. Oh. You're thinking about the car fire thing? Yeah, I was thinking about engine 82. Is it, was it, I, when I said, was that the pump that was broke? Was it, was it the one that... Oh, I misunderstood. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all fixed. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. How much did that cost? It, does, oh. it doesn't matter. I, I, I didn't mean to just throw that at you. No, that's okay. Hold on now. I'll look through all the minutes. We have excellent ones. Around, it was around 2800 That was this year. Okay, so we had but three. although that 2800 actually can, can, was some other thing. So. Yeah, okay. um, eclipse. Um, we had absolutely nothing during the eclipse. Um, not a single call that was related to it. We had a couple of calls that were earlier on in the morning. Um, I think Yellow Springs Police was a little busy with typical kind of traffic citation stuff. But the county as a whole, because I was in the EOC at that point, the county as a whole was truly dead. Um, I talked to, um, or had clarifying. information from- Clearly, <laughs> low, <laughs> slow. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> um, the, uh, and had some information from the state EOC, and the state was actually the same way. So uh, we, we, I don't know if, a lot of people went to other areas or what, but that's that's how that worked out. Um, we did have uh, annual bench testing for SCBA. That's per our NFBA annual requirements. I, Those I, were done. I would like, instead of having all these acronyms. Oh, you want me to type it out more? <laughs> okay. I don't remember from month to month S. CBA or PSI. I, 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 I'll try and do that. Um, I understand that it's that's my language, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. So SCBA is just our rating apparatus. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah. The public safety information sharing. Oh, hold on. What, what, oh, sorry. Quick question. Um, if they're all out of um, approved lifespan, is testing yeah. still appropriate? Yeah. But they have they still have to be tested to, to remain in service. So, so even, have to though, be, even though they're past their lifespan, hold on. They, they, you still have to test them mm -hmm. until they're replaced. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Yeah. yeah. So that means they, they're still effective equipment even though officially they're past their lifespan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the National Fire Protection Association has a lot of different standards for, like, say, for example, our turnout gear. Um, that has a 10 year lifespan. And it can be in great shape at the end of 10 years, but, or, you know, at 10 years, but at the end of 10 years, it has got to go. But that's not the case for SCBA because you can service test them and, and show that they still maintain, they're still functional. They just don't meet the current standard. But they're also at the point that they're getting close to the end of their life where you won't be able to get parts for them anymore. So you've got to be budgeting for that moment. Well, that's a big grant dollar. That's we there's a big grant application out for that. Yeah, they're almost ten grand a piece now. Extremely expensive. Uh, public safety information sharing uh, network. I was at a board meeting last week for that. Um, actually, it was only thirty minutes long. And it was extremely productive. Um, we had. Uh, somewhere around five motions that were approved. Those are all related to moving to moving all of this stuff to the cloud. Um, so, you know, it's going to probably be a nine month or so process, but it, it, it's working. Um, uh, help me out. What? Give me a routine example of what that would mean. What's public? The public information. So this is all. This is all of the the data that is shared amongst all of the public safety uh, uh, departments, whether it be fire, EMS, law enforcement, sheriff's office, CAD, mm -hmm. so dispatch all that stuff, 
this is all the software that controls and distributes all of that data, which is an insane amount of data. Um, so the, the idea is that we opted to, to make a transition from that being based on servers that were housed within various buildings in the county to moving that up into the cloud, which provides a tremendous amount of benefits um, for us doing that. And so that particular, the, the steering committee for that, uh, for the Public Safety Information Sharing Network has said, this is, you know, approved that was the direction we're going. Of course, it's not free, um, but, you know, and that, that was actually some of it the last meeting, some of the uh, fees that were approved by the board at the last meeting is just to help from our aspect of what our responsibilities are as the township to, to do that. Uh, related to that was that I had a conference call this morning with Tyler um, and then other people within the county. Tyler is the company that provides the software that we were just talking about. Um, and it's uh, basically we're, we're meeting every couple of weeks or so for 30 minutes to an hour to keep in constant contact of here's where things are going, this is how it's going, here are issues that we see, and today was mostly various issues of things that that we're uh, working on. Um, so it's just, you know, just it's a massive project, and we're just trying to make sure everybody, all the stakeholders are well informed and participating in that process. How well attended are those meetings? Uh, today we had, so on our conference call we had, I think it ended up with either 16 or 18 people, uh, and that's pretty darn good representation. Um, that, I mean, that's not bad. Our last information sharing network meeting last week, uh, 25, 28 people. Yeah. Um, so that's actually, that's one of the best attended meetings, and that was, a very functional uh, group. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I walked away from that feeling very positive. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the Ohio Fair Chiefs Association report no update um, on that. And just to point out, just on briefly, when was the timeline when you got the commitment for the week or two? That was one full week ago. One full week. I spoke to. Yes. Oh, it was our last meeting. Mm -hmm. I, of course, it was February. They said we have it by the end of the month. Well, there was there was that. Yes, then, that's correct. And then the last meeting you said it'd be. What did they send a week or two? So that would be two weeks. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what I said in that meeting. But what I said was accurate. So we should hear momentarily. So as soon as I, I let a week pass past their deadline just to see if I heard anything more and I called the President Chiefs Association again and he said that he asked me if I had a copy of the contract. I told him no, but then he said, oh, okay, you'll be able to get a conference from the executive director. Okay. So he was going to do some talking. more follow up. We have a cup. I, we have. I don't know if it's the actual contract we signed, but we have the contract they sent to us. Well, regardless, we're way past that um, deadline. I do. Yeah, now you do 120 days. I think we signed it. And what what you uh, said April, May. what you said two weeks ago was um, that in one to two weeks they would have a draft to you. Correct. So that just so you know. That yeah. I, called, so I actually called Frank Cook and um, requested that the trustees get a draft at the same time. So that would have been on, that would have been Friday of last, no. Let's see what she finds in minutes. Outside of that, that's all I have. Is there anything when we talk that I missed? Not to put you on a hot seat, but. Yeah, I, I thought it was like I didn't, couldn't think of anything else. Well, we do have this last week, so. <coughs> later in the meeting, uh, we'll be talking about 
some fire department personnel matters. Uh, an executive. Though. An executive session. Oh, and I had first, first on our own, but then we, Denny, we would like you to be available. Is that you? Okay. I, I, I thought I said that. Okay. Yeah. Um, last, you want to update on that? Yeah. Uh, for the, from last week's from the minutes of April 1st, Frank Cook of the Ohio Fire Chiefs Association has informed Chief Powell the overview department assessment 150 plus page draft will be delivered in one to two weeks. Um, I, I have a couple things. Um, back to the, I know with the ESO, I don't know what the stages of the role of the ESO, but. What is ESO? It's. Um, That's our records management software. It's a record management software that we just started a year ago or something. Mm -hmm. And I know part of that I had asked about, because we're, we're repairing a lot of things, keeping, doesn't matter if you, you don't have it coordinated that yet that we put the repair for each piece of equipment, we, we keep track of it. But even putting down in the notebook, this is how much we spent on Tanker 82 or, or B81 would be helpful. Yeah, so I'm just know. basically there, um, as far as repair invoices and that goes, I haven't gotten that to start putting that in, but yeah. we will do that. But, but you're keeping track for, mm -hmm. for the year how much we're spending. Yeah, correct. I see that we have $33,000 allocated for repairs um, and maintenance and we just took a big chunk of that. Big, big chunk. We're about halfway through. Mm -hmm. That's a very, a very unpredictable and somewhat unpredictable. Which line item is this? Repairs and maintenance. 323 We didn't get it. Mm -hmm. She ran out of one paper. I, I, sh I asked her to send it to me by email. Oh, um, I'm glad you're following that. Anything else on the fire department? No. No. What about oh, 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 staff yeah. satisfaction yeah. surveys? Yeah, what's up with that? I mean, I remember I was going through some minutes, and you were going. You said you were going to launch that. Did it fly? Or yeah, yeah, it's done. I haven't compiled it yet, but it's done. And you'll be sharing that yeah. report? Yeah, I only got, I think, six, six okay. members. I'd love to see it. Actually, it's so it's a small mm -hmm. amount. I'll just share it. I'll just make copies, honestly. OK. okay. Thank you. Why do you think it was so small? Mm -hmm. um, I think people, you, you know, you have a, certainly a subset of people who don't necessarily want to share their opinion. Yep. Um, and then a subset of people who may not think that it's anonymous enough. Yeah, I, I think it's highly unusual that you would give it to your direct supervisor at place I've worked, you know. Actually, we would do it, give it to them, and have them return it to us. It's, it's a lot of pressure to get. That's why I Every time we've done a satisfaction survey within the organization, we've always done that. Yeah, it seems invalid to me. So. Well. I'm glad a version is being done, and we might change it in the well, future. Or, or we could do it. This board could do it mm -hmm. on our, of our own volition. Well, let's look at what you got, and we'll look at the, the uh, overall organization study that's pending, yeah. and then see where we go with that. Uh, the numbers again seem a little low compared to that is the number of calls. Calls? Activity. Yeah. I, I don't have a good explanation I'm for that. I'm not arguing that we should have more activity. I thought we well, actually, it was kind of funny because Colin actually, Colin and I were talking about the numbers and he actually asked me this. Well, he was kind of like, why are they down? I said, well, you know, you don't know. I mean, our thing is that traditionally when, when we have lower averages, we always make it up. So by the time you hit the end of the year, it's still going to be around that 1,200-ish number. Mm -hmm. it just, it's just how it is. It doesn't seem low to me. I keep 35. seeing the number 30. We've had, we have 35, but what do we, if you put fire and EMS together, right? Maybe sometimes it's 
it says 35 and then it's broken down. Anyway. Um, uh, that, that get, at that rate, we have 1820 a year. And that's, oh, no, 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 that's that, that's true. We don't have back township runs. Uh, that's significant. Cemetery and then road. Well, the interim sexton. Uh, not terribly busy. Uh, fielded fair amount calls, both from funeral homes requesting information about locations and restrictions and rules. Uh, I've had well, maybe half a dozen calls from individuals requesting uh, locations of loved ones' graves. A um, couple calls from monument companies trying to figure out where monuments go. Because um, they're ready. This is the time of year they start delivering for Memorial Day uh, purposes. Um, we sold three grapes in the period. There were uh, two at the natural burial in the prairie ground, prairie section, and one at the oak grove section, but it was not a tree. It was a traditional, traditional grave. All the trees have been planted. There's five new trees in the oak grove. We won't be planting anymore until next spring. So that's good. It, it, it's, it's great to see live trees out there now instead of black posts, you know, that represent trees. <laughs> and just wait 50 years and it would be nice to see them, you know, pretty good size. I hope I'm not here. <laughs> wow. Uh, Rhodes. Brandon keeps himself busy. Uh, fortunately, the last during this last period, we had a couple of days or nights uh, where there was a substantial amount of wind that came through. And other than some relatively small branches, uh, that's about all the uh, destruction that we found uh, throughout the township road. So you, know, you can always expect some big tree to drop on over, but fortunately that didn't happen. Um, he obviously, he spent a fair amount of time in the Oak Grove uh, doing the tree planting uh, for that period. Um, well, not really. He only put in, let's see, three, two. Um, we took the one from the entrance where the, the, the new entrance sign is. There was, a, there was one that was there that was a Kind of a, we put it in as a sample of what you know the, what would it look like on a, on a grave, and of course it had the sign at the time, and we just don't feel like it was necessary to have it that close to the new entrance sign, and it was getting redundant that there are now trees that people can look at as opposed to having a sample sitting right uh, on the entrance. So we put that on one of the uh, graves that was. Um, back to road. Let's see. I made a tour around. The uh, roads uh, look good uh, condition-wise. Um, the berms are probably two, potentially three weeks away from having to be cut. Uh, usually, that's a first part of May thing, so probably close to that schedule. Um, our second employee should be back by then so uh, and he would be uh, clear to uh, mow yeah what what will he be limited in um lifting heavy objects uh, and that would be determined by his uh, orthopedic surgeon what the weight uh, limitation would be uh he's uh, uh not to work on anything that is overhead and he's not to work uh, on heavy equipment where he would have to pull wrenches and mm -hmm. you know that sort of thing. Other than that, when it comes time, that's what we expect 
the uh, restrictions to be. All that for one wheelbarrow accident, was it? Terrible. Um, mm -hmm. There were a few things that I saw. Uh, Grinnell Circle. It's our. It's only April fifteenth, but Grinnell Circle has a fair amount of overgrowth from the sides, halfway around, impeding on the road, and that's going to have to be trimmed back relatively soon. Pavement. Uh, there were a couple of very small potholes on North River that will have to be addressed before it gets chip sealed, but uh, we'll probably do that before. Um, at the moment, uh, until Dan comes back, Dan, or Dan, um, Brandon is going to be quite busy mowing virtually everything that needs it, like mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> Uh, he just finished the Clifton Cemetery, I believe, today, and I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't next on his I'm next on his list. Uh, uh, assuming the weather's not too bad. Um, North River and Tanyard. Oh, yeah, there was a little breakup on, on Tanyard Road also that will need to be addressed at some time. That is my full report from the interim. Road Administrator and where else I am, Sexton. Any other questions about the cemetery or roads? Not on. Fiscal officer. Fiscal officer report. Uh, we have a requested resolution. Resolution 2024-16. Excuse me, that number's incorrect. Okay. It would be 18. 18. Good eye. Amendment of temporary appropriations. Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize amending the following appropriations. From the general fund, Advertising increased by $1,000. The Miami Township trustees authorized the fiscal officer to do so immediately. Do I hear a motion to approve this resolution? So in, in order to discuss, we have to second. Second. Yes. So you second. Yeah. Discuss. Um, does anybody know what this is about? Um, I, I see that we have seventeen hundred dollars. We spent five seventeen. We have eleven eighty three left for advertising. Uh, I have not heard. Yeah. Chris, do we have some kind of gigantic advertising bill that you know about? We did just have one. Not gigantic, but it was two thousand dollars that we can get. You know, I guess the answer lies with the one of the two fiscal officers. I don't know which one. Oh. What makes me wonder if she has the wrong color or not. Seconded. Other discussion? Back in the olden days, or when we had our uh, township uh, conference in Columbus, one of, the, uh, one of the presenters, one of the workshops was on resolutions versus motions. And it was very interesting. I'm going to summarize it as best I can. According to the revised code, there are only about 10 subjects that require a resolution. Um, needless to say, financial, probably mm -hmm. additional, full-time, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, about 10 of those. Other than that, everything could be done by motion. The interesting thing I found out was that according to Revi the Ohio Revised Code, no resolution is effective until 30 days after its passage at a public meeting. 
resolution. Resolution. Okay. How about an emergency resolution? Now, there are such things as emergency resolutions, and but they are only applicable if the resolution says, Miami Township, emergency resolution number 2014-18. And there has to be a line before you get into the roll call or authorizes that says, this resolution is necessary for the purpose of payment of bills in a timely manner or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, whatever the whole thing it is. Now, I just bring that up because it's the law, but in 28 years, there hasn't been an auditor that's ever said, no, I was just going to ask, has there been an auditor? Sure, sure. It's resolutions. But, uh, so, whether we comply or not is neither here nor there to me, but I just wanted to well, pass we along could, that information. It would not be a burden to follow that. I will, I'm curious, I'll track down in the ORC, maybe you have reference. It's, I'm sure I maybe did, but... Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. As my experience of parliamentary procedure is that resolution and motion were equivalent, but ORC over overrides that. So interesting because somebody brought it up. Is well, you know, we always say I entertain a motion to adopt resolution number two thousand fourteen. Mm -hmm. Well, how can you have a motion a resolution and which which is such a okay. What's the guy says it's it, it's simple, you know. The motion is for the board to consider adopting a resolution. So you have to vote twice. I didn't get the opinion that you did. I I, I think it was just sort of a generic. That's how you get to. Well, I I think it is important that we uh, try to follow the rules, and I'll look up, look into it. Okay. Thank you very much. And there was a time when we had this conversation, and I argued that they were equivalent. Mm -hmm. So, so that's my pistol officer addition. This being the second meeting of the month, we have standing committee reports. Do item number nine first. Uh, zoning inspector's report is usually the first meeting of the month, but if you have anything you want. Bring um, I would like to medical call respond emergent. Let's Medication let's two, medical advance care one lost in place two five. Medicaid two, medical advance care one lost in place two five. Okay, that always makes our videos more exciting than we have. <laughs> Everybody wonders. Um, as a result of discussions at our, our last public meeting, in an executive session, we interviewed and considered um, employing uh, a new fiscal officer. Your zoning inspector. Our zoning inspector, fiscal officer. We already have a new one. Um, at that meeting, we, we tentatively agreed to offer the position to the applicant uh, who was there. But we could not come out. I mean, we were still in a public meeting, but there was no public here. And there, there, was, there was no minutes person to make it official, so we decided to put it off. Yeah, we had told people we weren't yeah. taking any action. Yeah. So as a result of that, I'm going to make the motion that we offer the position to Carrie Smith, who was the applicant uh, in question at that executive me uh, meeting. And as you are moving that Carrie Smith be made our zoning inspector. Correct. Do you feel comfortable seconding? I'll second you. Moved and seconded. And discussion. Well, one discussion is I don't remember saying, I remember saying we were going to make a decision that was very early on in the process. This is all a good point, I'll say it anyway. It was very early on the process. There was no way we were going to decide on the very first interview that we weren't going to that we were going to choose that person. As it turns out, there were many applicants. None is qualified for for it so far until Lori Askelin applied on April 9th. I don't know what happened to her application. It it was playing a disappearing game in my email, unless it was an operator error. 
So I was going to suggest that we also, her being the second very qualified, that we also interview her. She let me know this afternoon that she can't, she's not in a position to, to accept it right now. But I just want to make a note that I, I don't remember us having said we were, we were um, that we had decided after the very first interview that we had chosen no person, because we were still, there are a lot of applications still coming in. And the other thing. Two, okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Two points there, um, and I certainly have no memory like a steel trap, but I remember dis discussing our interest in offering her the position and at what remuneration. And we thought, well, we didn't want to set a, a, a total at, you know, a, a agree about a total until another meeting. Um, therefore, now, as to your second point, I remember Carrie's application to people from New Jersey who wanted to apply to were architects or structural engineers or aircraft mechanics or something like that. An application from a man in Cedarville who was a, I think it was Centerville. Centerville, okay, a retired firefighter or something like that who was looking for. I don't, I don't know that it's good to go right, into detail. Okay, so that's fine. But I haven't seen any of these other multiple applications yeah. that you speak and I, of. I think that's because live and learn. We didn't have a cohesive process before we ran out to do it. What what Lord? What part of our agreement with Denise Swinger was that as part of her job? What, the culmination of her job was she was going to hand us a, a job description. And she was handing us a job description. You know? And then the next thing I know, it was being printed out and sent to the news. Um, I, we didn't much have much discussion. We didn't add to it, you know, the hours that it wasn't full time, it didn't have benefits. We discussed that in, well, we, we, it's in our minutes. We didn't add it to the, we didn't add it to the description. But that's fine, I'm not worried about that. But also, it all happened so fast. I thought I didn't see she was writing us an. I didn't feel like she was writing us an ad that we were going to place the next day. I thought we she was writing us. We agreed to place the ad the next day. What's that? We agreed to place the ad the next yeah. day for expedience. That's true, Chris. And then I didn't think it should be only placed in the Yellow Springs News. So you said, well, if you'd like to place it other places, knock yourself out. Um, and so we placed it in LinkedIn, and indeed. And so, it, well, and since we don't have subscriptions to that as a township, you didn't see scads of them that came in. And that's because we didn't have that agreement to start. I, so, that, so there were a lot more that came in that you didn't see. And I, I, I'll tell you that none of them were as qualified as her. So. Uh, just for the record, the Yellow, the Yellow Springs News and I, uh, I didn't know this, but they have, they're part of a network where job descriptions get distributed to other uh, digitally, not, is there something called OAN? Here I'm throwing out. Uh, <laughs> what does that stand for? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> throwing out uh, acronyms without knowing the whole, whole name. Uh, but we we could have been more systematic. Uh, however, I do think that it's uh, a good applicant. Mr. Chairman, would it be all right if I note about Carrie? We well, we haven't voted, and also we haven't settled on yeah, compensation. Um, I'm saying that's to be determined at this point. That's, uh, that could be done, that is, we could to be negotiated with her, and so we, that doesn't mean we've actually hired her. Well then, we'll hire her and I will, I will add to the offer pending. Why, why do you not want to? How about, how about we? What are you talking about? Uh, is that, was that a joke? Or we're, we're not going to discuss it? Well, I think we should discuss it. What uh, could we offer a job 
ending agreement. Uh, yeah, well, I don't see that this. Yeah, this is the first I've heard of an eight hundred dollar month stipend. You wanted a number before we hired her. I just threw a number out there. What were we paying Richard? Um, we don't want to. And what have we now been um, paying Denise? What we talked about at that executive committee meeting was twenty-five dollars an hour per hour. Mm -hmm. Hours. I personally, yeah, it, it scares me that you say we're gonna we're gonna hire her and then we're gonna do it later because then I think you're gonna get a room with her and decide without the other two of us. So that's, that's ridiculous. Bit, if I'm being totally honest, that's ridiculous. Um, so that's also against the law. Okay, so why don't we want to, why, who will be? Who will do the discussion? If you the have done it, okay. Um, well, we will either agree or we'll put it off for so some, why, other, why some we, other time. Why are we putting it off at all? I've already thrown out a okay. number. Nobody I, wants to talk about it. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, she has a full-time job, at least one. She, she works full time. And then she also and works so, for Cedarville Township. And she works for Cedarville Township. With a remuneration of $750 a month. Cool. Um, I, I I feel comfortable paying her by the hour because I don't I don't know how much time she's going to have or how much she's going to put it put, put in. in. Yeah. Uh, could we, <clears throat> I mean, it would be a, a normal arrangement often to, to say we have a, uh, you know, six month period and we'll review uh, the agreement. You know, that is, is, is what we are, have what, what is what we've agreed to pay you uh, per month uh, realistic? Uh, how are things going? Do we, do we want to change the arrangement? Uh, and be upfront about that. In six months, we'll review everything. You suggested 800. I'm reminded that she's getting paid 750 by another township. Uh, what about a, uh, an offer with a six month review? I'm in favor of her own wages. Um, that well, would be, if you, I, would, I would make the same argument. If, if we have a per hour wage, I would still think we ought to review after six months. Or three. Or three. Or six. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, $25 an hour. Did we discuss that with her that night? Not hourly. I, I do, I, I, we did believe, I, I do believe we did. I know, I remember I, I was watching her face to see if she was shocked by such a low number. Um, okay. It doesn't have to be that low. Um, Chris, if you want to make a motion for what you want, you, you, you feel well, free to do it. There has been one motion, but without any of those details. You want to withdraw and sure. make another motion? Sure. Um. I'll withdraw that motion, make a new motion, we uh, hire Carrie Smith for the uh, vacant position of zoning inspector uh, at a beginning rate of $25 an hour and a review of uh, performance review uh, in three months with um, potential adjustment of the rate. I second that. Any other discussion? Uh, Cindy, would you reread that just so we are clear on the detail? I have to do so. I have been moved and seconded to offer the position of zoning inspector to uh, Carrie Smith at the rate of $25 per hour for the three month review period, at which time the rate will be renegotiated. Reviewed. Is that a clear answer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Could we call the roll? Mr. Winter. Yes. Ms. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Motion mm -hmm. is approved. Resounding. And yes, we, Chairman. 
Hotspur. I've said this before. I think that was a good, a good back and forth. We often don't have back and forth. Uh, and we now go to standing committee reports. MVRPC did not meet. We're finally good on our dues and our um, designees. Um, I didn't realize that the invoice hadn't been paid this year. Um, that was that was me, and I'll take my um, um, natural burial committee meeting on the 29th in this room. Um, we're go we're taking we're going out there Friday and you know, looking at some things, some invasive, some areas that we had gotten advice last year from a nice park ranger who suggested some of those places usually Chris, especially on the honeysuckle side. It's not, we're not having trouble with plenty of stuff as far as I know, but some, you know, maybe some mowing and plastic and burning, putting plastic, plastic over some areas to um, to recede and try not to put the invasive. So if you see us messing around out there, don't be surprised. We'll try to keep in the loop, everyone in the loop. Um, any other on mine? West Development Corporation, we met in this room last week. Um, oh, they would like us to pay our dues. Could, do we need a motion or a resolution for that? Um, or do we just pay them because we've agreed? I'm, I'm assuming that, that something was sent out and we didn't catch it or? I, 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 I thought it the day after last meeting. I said, so sorry, we just had a meeting last night. So I don't even. I, no, I don't. I don't think we need to vote. But okay. uh, I believe it's a thousand dollars a year. And Chris, I don't know. If you Is it two thousand? We have two representatives. Oh, I don't know. Um, you know we pay um, for, um, so what's your name? Wait, what? Corey. Yeah, speak up, Corey. Corey. Corey That's right. Know. But I. I Okay, I'm confused. I thought it was my organization, not my representative. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what the invoice is. Yeah, it's the, the, I, that was mentioned at the meeting. Well, whatever the invoice says, okay. we should pay, and I don't think we need to vote on it. Okay, cool. Uh, just get a copy. This is my first year on there. I didn't know. Get a re worked. renewal of, get a second copy of the invoice if, if uh, Margaret doesn't know where it is. I'll get it to GM, Gina. Uh, and I mentioned the Green County County, so <laughs> County Association, Don. Yeah, I'll um, follow up with the uh, Cedarville and Xenia. I'll send that email so it's at the top of your um, top of your emails. Green County Regional Planning. The old record shortest meeting. Thank you very much. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. I thought this, the world's record for Green County yeah, Planning Commission. Yeah. Did, didn't Lamar have a township one of seven minutes? No, it was eight. So oh, it was not seven. It was eight. Um, we actually reviewed two matters: one Bath Township uh, zoning amendment uh, to change. Uh, Change zoning at the intersection of uh, 444 and uh, 675 because they're going to put a Wahoo, no, that's not right, gas station, <laughs> big thing there. And then, um, and then a, tech, a zoning text amendment that I don't remember exactly what that was about, but we passed it. And that was the whole 10 minutes. And then your meeting coming up, it's going to be a couple of Miami Township amendments. Mm -hmm. uh, just to remind people when the County uh, Planning Commission reviews uh, proposed uh, zoning, uh, it's a recommendation, it's, it's a consulting, it's, it, uh, they, they can't veto or 
uh, whatever, they just give, give advice. And it goes back to the uh, specific jurisdiction. So ours will be about the, um, the personal or the self-generated solar, they're calling it, and also the, temp, the first round of the temp use, temporary use exception. Uh, Clifton Union Cemetery uh, has uh, involved me more than the previous five years because of, I've mentioned before that we were willed a house uh, and we had somebody clean it up, take down the garage that was literally four feet, tilting four feet off center. Uh, uh, pictures were taken, the uh, pictures were posted in the formal listing of the house for sale, and within 24 hours uh, there was an offer that we accepted. Uh, and the income from the sale of the house, roughly $90,000, uh, will be an endowment for care of the cemetery. So that will slightly reduce what we've been contributing to the mowing and maintenance. Uh, we pay half and Green Township and Clark County pays half. And unfortunately, the coffers of the Clifton Cemetery have been full enough for the past two years. Yeah, we haven't paid anything. Yeah, right. uh, yes, there, there, was, there was already a 60000 reserve shrinking. Uh, I don't have any other report. So we have new business and old business uh, in executive session. Help me out, are there uh, likely to be uh, decisions that we will come back and vote on? I would say no, but I'm just one person. I think potentially. There are uh, personnel matters, personnel compensation matters. Uh, so we might be returning to the public session. Uh, So I'll make the motion that we move into executive session on matters of uh, personnel compensation. Uh, the first listing says for communications. Is that the same? I'm same not sure what that is. Um, if I just don't know it's compensation. So it's the same wording as the yes. previous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I've made the motion. A second. Can we call the roll, please? Uh, and then second to enter executive session for discussion for personnel compensation. I'll have the correct word in there. 14. The public is welcome to wait. I vote yes. Oh, wait. Sometimes you vote, sometimes you don't. Mr. Murcher, Ms. Ms. Yes. Moore. Yes. Mr. Howells. Yes. Recess at 614. So, Danny, remind me, was it just two weeks ago that you proposed that resolution? Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm arguing or suggesting that we wait for the context of the uh, assessment from the state Chiefs mm -hmm. Associate, whatever, uh, that we plan uh, 
to develop a more detailed personnel retention and team development uh, that you propose, the consult, whatever, uh, and what you're proposing may well be part of that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but that we're not voting on it today. And that we want that context. And we're about to get a load of information. Um, and that what you're trying to do of you know, professional retention is very important, but it's how we do it, what's our context, and more details. Um, but I want to honor that you are pushing on that and that you made specific proposals, you priced it, you made estimates of cost, um, but that <clears throat> we, we keep, keep on it, but we're not going to act immediately. So you guys are aware there are six people who are actively looking at the there are nine fire departments in our area who are actively hiring full-time pension people. If I lose those six people, I do not replace those six people. So the, it's the board's decision, but understand if we lose all those people, that was your yeah. decision. My, my, my concerns were the process, who was chosen, why we're passing up paramedics, why we're doing three at once. <clears throat> and we're about to get this, supposedly about to get this report, mm -hmm. and if it's the draft that we expected last December, and then, so, my picture is, you know, I mean, this is a hot item, and, and maybe in two weeks we'll feel like we can act on it, uh, have a work session, a public work session talking about the um, about these issues, get some publicity in the community about uh, our struggle, or the potential struggle, uh, about our concerns, your concerns. Uh, so this is not a dismissive thing, but um, Let's, whether it's wait two weeks, four weeks, let's at least get that report and have a. I would like some advice from the board how, as to how you want me to share that information with the membership. Well, but I don't know why the membership knows it already, why people were promised and, and, and talked about pensions. What in this fashion? I really don't know. Well, it was a motion was not a motion. No, the there's a proposed resolution that's public record. Well, they were kind of let out. I think there's questions. Uh, uh, I have never led anybody like that. That was done. They all that was done in August last year. Once again, you accuse me of something that I have not done. But this, this recent round, why were they all marching in if you hadn't been... Because they do in? not trust you or the board. That's yeah, why. Yeah, and, and they, um, they may trust you, I don't know. Uh, what's and, the point uh, of this discussion I'm, right now? I have a proposal for, um, that I shared with them, another retention proposal, to um, give us time. That would, that, that would keep people. Um, well, I think we're talking about weeks. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, I want to have the, I would say the assessment report and... I would uh, say offer them a short-term, um, generous um, retention and put this... Um, Take, take this slower. We're, we're on the first stable ground we've been on in, in years. 
and all of a sudden we're just going to haul off and put three people on the bench. It's just amateur to me. I just can't even believe it's being discussed. Well, you just said you shared something with these guys about a proposal that you've never shared with me, and we sat, what, six weeks ago and talked about the pension stuff, you and I? Yeah, we, we talked about it. I was shocked when I came in to hear you wanted to, to put three three EMTs. I'm just shocked you were you were passing up two paramedics and that, without and without I much. Shared, I specifically shared that with you when you and, and, I, and had I, that said, I said I said I said Danny, three people. Wow, well, once you're sure, and, I, and then I said, what about these two EMT, the two paramedics? You gave me an answer to that I thought was not sufficient at all about why these people have been passed up and. Um, and the reason I have it, I, the reason I didn't share my alternative plan is because I went when I, as I walked away and thought about how untenable what your proposal was, I didn't want to come back and just be a naysayer without an alternative plan. So for the first time tonight, I presented it to. Um, well, let me emphasize that we recognize the the, the challenge and appreciate you pushing on this, and that we do have assumedly new information about the show up, I mean, give us context, uh, that is the organizational assessment. Uh, and with that, we'll keep talking and There will, would be action taken, but it may not be exactly what you just proposed. That's your call. <clears throat> and well, and also, you're, you're reminding us it's not that you just proposed, it's been at well, least six weeks still, in the making. Yeah. Um, I would like to consider that we put on a faster track of an alternative plan in bias. Well, I've argue, I'm arguing that it, it should be in the context well, of well, this assessment. It's a meeting and a meeting and a meeting, and that, meanwhile, those guys are back there blind, not knowing what we're talking about. All they know is that we're talking about something that they have no control over. My proposal, I'm just going to say it because why not? Okay. Um, my proposal, um, just, to put, just to put it out there, can be worked with. Um, a dollar an hour raise and a thousand dollar bonus who, for anybody who would sign a contract to stay with us for a year and while we get this all sorted out. That, so since you asked me what, what that was, I think um, it's, a, it's a generous offer and, um, and it makes more sense than going headlong into numbers in, in your, in your, in your um, in your uh, resolution, you said, whereas we have the money to, in the 2024 budget to do this, therefore we shall whatever. This isn't a, a one-year um, proposal you're making. To, 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 I to, think I'm very aware of it. To, 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 to almost double the career track positions is not something that we just look to 2024 that we have enough money to get through this year. What we're talking about right now, you, you, you've made a detailed proposal, you've made a proposal, is exactly what we need to be doing, and I'm, I'm asserting that we should do it. I'm, I'm a, trusting that we're going to get this assessment report, uh, and that we'll have that context, and we'll continue this discussion with and that was more information, more context, uh, and however, if people are going to make it, uh, their decisions in the next two weeks, four weeks, that my, my position would not be yeah, I, uh, I, I'm affecting that. That could be a problem. Because I, I do, yeah. Um, that's why I, I think one thing I agree with Danny on is that they're, they're impatient and they're in the dark, and it's frustrating for them. Well, they feel they've been misled. I feel they've been misled, but I don't feel like I was the one that misled them. 
Uh, I didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a convoluted, I, I find that to be a very convoluted description of what's happening. I well, mean, you and I have Colin, a very differing opinion Colin of, of... popped off an idea last year when I was out of town about putting a bunch of people in the pension, and I was horrified when I got back in town. Because especially at that time, we didn't have time. So how this, how people seem to think that pensions are just something that's... Well, you're willing, to, that's you're willing to pay a zoning inspector $25 an hour. My paramedics started around 22 an hour. And right. they certainly are more trained and qualified. I understand that. That's part of what frustrates people. That's what's that, and and we can't control the the pay markets for. There are other that's on par with other departments. There's some that get paid a little more, but there there are jobs out there that fifteen dollars. I don't say they don't, they deserve fifteen dollars an hour. I said that I can't control. The, the job market. No, unfortunately, like none of us can. That's a nightmare that, of reality. That's not just a yeah, problem it's, that you need to It's horrible service. that par paramedics are paid 22 and that we're, we have EMTs with pay, be paid, I think, mean, 15 is what our lowest one is. So, yeah, I agree with you. And, and that's and why I think, they need, I think they need relief. I think they, I think they're frustrated and they need, they need some immediate relief, but I can't see the immediate relief going headlong into, I mean, this is the first time I've relaxed since I got on board because we weren't riding a wild roller coaster of a budget. And then I feel, I feel like we're being asked to, for a Hail Mary pass back into it. Well, <clears throat> I repeat, this is a, a vital, burning issue and uh, we're not voting to endorse or approve your pro specific proposal tonight and there will be more information soon and we'll keep, keep at it. Anything, Chris? No, sir. Uh, I think we're not going to take any action tonight. So, well, I think Let's Denny and I could both agree this is a less than satisfactory outcome. I suggest we adjourn. So moved. I'll second. Okay. I'll, de I'll declare the meeting adjourned. <laughs>